start, you're gonna need your fabric, a lining, your pattern, a brim, a button cover set, a bias tape maker kit, a bias tape folder, some elastic, sweatband, stiff interfacing, and then we're doing this all on a Singer Heavy Duty. Links are in the description for everything and we're using a pattern off of properfitclothing.com or capsupplyco.com. Get your pattern, cut it out, tape it together, and then go ahead and lay it on your fabric and you're gonna want eight of these top panels. Fold our fabric twice so that way we're cutting out four at a time and we're just gonna trace and cut two. Now we're going to cut our side panel and just place that on the fold, trace it, and cut it out. So you should end up with one side panel and then eight top panels. Now take your top panels and put the right sides together and start sewing them two at a time. Now you're going to want to grab two sets of your tops and then sew those together and this will make up half of your cap. Now do the same thing for the other two sets. Then go ahead and trim the seam allowance. So we're gonna show you two different options for adding on your bias tape. And these are just two different bias tape folders. The one on the right is just one you can get at any hobby store. And the one on the left is available at capsupplyco.com. We are gonna be using the one on the left just because it's a little bit easier for us to use and we've been using it for a while. But honestly, they both do the same thing. So use whatever you're comfortable with. Whatever one you're using, line it up with your presser foot and then just tape it right on your machine. You definitely are gonna to wanna to make sure this is secure so that way nothing's moving around when you're sewing on that bias tape. And now we're going to be showing you how to set up your twin needle and this is super simple just install like a normal needle set your machine to zigzag with zero width and thread two spools of thread the same exact way now all you have to do is cut your bias tape to the measurement of the folder and you're ready to start sewing and you totally don't have to use a bias tape folder. We just find it looks way more professional. It's a lot easier than doing two separate top stitches. Go ahead and put the seam in the center of the twin stitch and stitch all the way through. You're going to want to do this for all three seams on each half of the panel.
Okay, now that you have all your top stitching done, go ahead and take those two halves, place the right sides together, and sew across that entire arc. And when you're doing this, make sure that the centers of both halves are lined up. This is just an easy way to make sure that you keep it all centered. Again, go ahead and trim that seam allowance. And just like the previous steps, go ahead now and top stitch across that entire top seam. And there you have it, your top is all nice and good. There's a little structure on the inside from the bias tape and it's all top stitched nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut the lining and this is done the same as the outer shell. Just go ahead, fold your fabric a few times, trace two of them and cut two of them. You're gonna wanna end up with eight in the end. Then go ahead and start sewing them the same exact way as the outer shell in the previous step. Also for this step, we're not adding bias tape or any top stitching, so you can go ahead and sew this all completely together. Now that I have your lining and your outer shell sewn together, you're gonna to wanna to take the wrong sides and put them together and then sew around the outside edge. The next step is to add the interfacing to your side panel. We are cutting our interfacing shorter than the actual side panel and we'll show you why we're doing this later. We got our interfacing off of capsupplyco.com. This is a heavier weight interfacing for more of a structured finish. It's very easy to use. All you do is just iron it on.
And if it goes on not too perfect, just trim it a little bit and you should be good to go. Now take your side panel, place the right sides together, and then stitch that. Take your side panel and your completed top panels, place the right sides together, and sew that side panel all the way around the bottom. Definitely take your time with this step. Make sure that you're lining everything up and it fits perfectly as a circle along that bottom. Moving on to the brim, the pattern comes with the brim template, but we're actually using our own and we got this off of capsupplyco.com and it looks really nice on flat caps, especially with this pattern. So pretty much all you're doing is making a sleeve for that brim, so trace around whatever brim you're using. Now take it into a straight stitch exactly on the line you just traced. Now take your scissors and cut about a quarter inch from that seam. Now go ahead and flip it right sides out and slide your brim into place. Once you have your brim in position and nice and tight, go ahead and take a zipper foot or any narrow presser foot and sew along the inside of the brim. As you sew, kind of pull the outside of your fabric away from your brim so that way it's nice and tight. Now to finalize the brim, you're going to want to go ahead and add a brim stitch. We did ours about a quarter inch away from the outside of the brim. Trim about a half an inch away from the inside of the brim. This will allow room to attach your brim to the crown. Now go ahead and mark the center of your crown and the center of your brim and line these up and get ready to sew. And again, we start at the center and work towards the outside because this really helps keep that brim centered. And then when you get to the end, go ahead and flip it around and do the same thing for the other half.
Now we're gonna be attaching the sweatband. This step, we made our own attachment and we made this out of heavier stock paper. All you have to do is make a little sleeve that your sweatband fits in there nice and snug and then go ahead and tape that onto your sewing machine. It serves as a guide so that way the sweatband doesn't slide all around while you're sewing it onto the crown. And we are using professional sweatbands from capsupplyco.com. These are millinery grade and very awesome for making caps. To have your sweatband guide into position, go ahead and roll over the edge and then just start sewing straight all the way around. And it is really that simple. You get a nice top stitch on the outside and the sweatband will be nice and attached on the inside. And there you have it, a very difficult step made super easy. Now we're gonna be adding on the elastic in the back for a tighter fit, and this is why we left that little gap of interfacing on the back. You should try your cap on, and if it fits good, you don't have to use this step. This just adds for a little more tight fit Now that you have your brim attached to your crown, you're going to want to go ahead and tack the center of your front down to the center of your brim. We found it's best by just feeling with your fingers, flipping it inside out, keeping that hold, and then just tacking it down. And depending on the look you're going for, you can totally sew across the full front of the brim, and that's what we did in this video. We just recommend starting at the center so that way it's nice and even. And now we're gonna be installing the cover button. And these again are available at capsupplygo.com. All the links are in the description below. Cut out a small circle of fabric, place it over the top cover, and then insert your middle piece, locking everything into position. Now there's a third prong piece that we already have in the press. And if you don't have a press, you can just push that prong piece through the center with your fingers, take the top cover and line it up where you see the prongs that are coming through the fabric and slightly hit it with the hammer. This will allow those prongs to go into the middle piece and then lock it all into position, holding that cover button in place. And if it looks a little confusing, go ahead and check our other videos out that are totally dedicated to this process alone.
All right, and there you have it, your flat cap is complete. And definitely do this multiple times. It's gonna take a while to perfect this pattern. The more you make, the better they will get, I promise you that. So definitely don't give up after one cap. And thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you think, and we're gonna keep videos coming at you, so stay tuned.